cooking with sabor. Today, I'm making one of my favorite comfort food dishes, pollo empanizado, or breaded fried chicken. But I'm making my own gourmet twist on it and making it Italian fried chicken. See how I make it. All right, so when I say Italian fried chicken, don't get scared. This chicken dish is simply made and it's simply amazing. And I have set up a dredging station, which minimizes mess and it's easy to clean up. I'll show you how I make it. All right, so our dredging station is gonna compose of three things. Our flour, some egg wash, and some breadcrumbs. All three of them need to be thoroughly seasoned. That is the key to having extremely flavorful chicken and it's seasoning the entire thing. All right, so our flour is gonna have some salt and some pepper on it. All right, wash as well. Exactly what makes this chicken Italian is the fact that with the breadcrumbs I add Italian seasoning and a special little touch, some shreds of Parmesan cheese. So good. So we're gonna go ahead and add two teaspoons of Italian seasoning to the breadcrumbs. By the way, for an extra added touch, you don't necessarily need to use regular breadcrumbs, you can use panko breadcrumbs, and those are incredible. They're Asian style breadcrumbs, and they make everything crunchier and more delicious. But since I'm going for a traditional pollo empanizado, that means traditional breadcrumbs it is. So that's two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, and now we're gonna shred about a fourth of a cup of Parmesan cheese. All right, so this may be a little bit more than a fourth of a cup, but hey, I love cheese, so I don't mind. Now, for the final step for our breadcrumbs is adding a little bit of salt and pepper. All right, let's mix the breadcrumbs up. Now, the last thing that's missing is adding a little bit of water to our eggs and making an egg wash. Make sure to only use a tiny bit of water. Too much water will make the breading not stick to the chicken. You still want a nice thick egg wash. And now for the star of our show, the chicken. Always season it first, too. All right, now begins the dredging process. This is when we take the chicken and put it in the flour, then the egg wash, and then the breadcrumbs with Parmesan cheese. Make sure everything gets a nice, even coat. You wanna get into every nook and cranny of that chicken. And you know what? Use your fingers. Use a fork, use your fingers, whichever way you want. But I like using my fingers. But be careful, because you might end up with some bread fingers. So the egg is gonna make sure that this coating of breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese sticks nice and well to the chicken. Alright, so we're getting ready to fry our Italian fried chicken. I love extra virgin olive oil, or regular olive oil, but don't make the mistake of frying with it. It has a low smoking point. So for frying, I definitely recommend something like canola oil, for example. It doesn't have a lot of taste, so you get the full flavor of the chicken and of the breading. Canola oil it is. When oil reaches its smoking point, it starts disintegrating and the flavors are affected. So that's why I don't use olive oil. Canola oil has a really high smoking point, so everything ends up tasting delicious.
Alright, so when you throw the chicken in, you want to make sure that that oil sizzles. Have it on medium heat for a couple of minutes. Make sure that the pan's nice and hot when you throw them in. But not too hot. You don't want it on a high temperature because it'll just scorch the breadcrumbs and it'll turn out black and the chicken raw. So medium to medium high heat is perfect for this. Alright, so I've turned the chicken over and it's nice and brown and crispy and crunchy and amazing. And it smells incredible. Take a look. Yummy, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm done with my Italian fried chicken. It took about two to three minutes on each side, fried in canola oil, and it looks golden, crispy, and delicious. Now, this chicken is super versatile. You can pair it with pretty much anything and it'll go well. Rice and beans, like a typical pollo empanizado, pasta, because it's Italian, of course, or what I'm gonna do now, which is a nice, refreshing salad to balance the richness of the chicken. All right, so for our salad, I'm actually gonna do a homemade lemon mustard vinaigrette. It's really, really easy and really, really delicious. The way we're gonna start is with a fourth cup of extra virgin olive oil. Then we're gonna add the juice of one lemon. I always juice the lemon separately just so the seeds don't get in the way. I fish out the seeds and then I add it into the olive oil. All right, so in goes the lemon juice. And now we're gonna add a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. a little bit of salt and pepper. And now we seal it and shake. Looks good. By the way, if you don't have a jam jar, you can just mix it in a bowl with a mixer, it's fine. I just prefer this method just because it's easier to shake. All right, now just to make sure that our vinaigrette's perfect, I'm gonna taste it. Mm, that's really good. Zesty, tangy, perfect. All right, let's pour it. I always like tossing the vinaigrette and mixing it with the salad before I put it on the plate. That way, every single little leaf has a little bit of dressing on it. No one likes dry leaves, okay? To finish it off, I'm gonna add some goat cheese crumbles on top. And finally, the star of the show, our Italian fried chicken. And finally, the one last piece missing, me trying the fried chicken. So here we go. Mm. Perfection. That Parmesan cheese gives it such a nice crust and it's so salty and delicious but nutty at the same time. And those Italian herbs, the best. It gives it incredible flavor. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this now. Ultimate comfort food for me. My pollo empanizado or Italian fried chicken. I hope you guys like it. I know you will. Have a great day.